Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hello there. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 3rd of January. And uh, we'll forecast clearing today. Takes guts to do that in winter sometimes. These clouds can be awfully stubborn, but I do think for the northern half of the state. We'll see some sun later today. Let's get in there and talk about it. Uh, First off, some of the sky cam shots around the network this morning. That's the uh, Tuscaloosa sky cam. We've still got clouds around. Most folks are in the 30s. There's a look at downtown Fayette and downtown Birmingham as seen from the Daniel building looking south. A few uh, folks are below freezing up north. Uh, Haleyville's dropped to 29. It's 32 at uh, the Shoals and Coleman. Uh, But for most locations, we had mid-30s this morning with the clouds hanging tough, Birmingham at 35. And around the nation, it's just hard to get away from the uh, cold air. About the only warm spot is South Florida, which a lot of Alabama people are headed that way for the BCS championship game Monday night. And we should mention uh, for that game, we're expecting 72 at kickoff with only just a chance of a passing shower. I don't think rain will be a big deal. Speaking of rain, look at that. Pretty wet morning over South Alabama. Rain is uh, widespread, mostly south of Montgomery. And uh, that will be winding down later today. But that's that uh, final wave in the series coming through. And look at this. Of all places in the nation, where do you think the snowiest weather will be today? How about El Paso, Texas? Well, they've got a winter storm warning going out there. Uh, Winter weather advisory is almost over to the hill country. But other than that, the nation is quiet. And this is the rain for the next seven days, valid through Thursday uh, morning of next week, suggesting very light rain amounts. And next week is uh, about as clear as mud in terms of the next rain event with model madness. And out in the mid-month, I think we'll see some big cold shots, but when and how much, that's up for debate. Let's take a look. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at uh, noon today. And this is at 500 millibars. And we should mention this is the 06Z run. Uh, got troughing in the southwest. That'll produce the snow out in El Paso. The energy here is moving out and down below that. Uh, we'll forecast clearing today. Now, come on, you, we, let's all be realists. You know, how many times have you forecast a clearing sky in winter? And the clearing happens about 12 hours after you expect it. So, you know, some folks might see clouds all day. But I do think for the northern counties, at least, the sky will brighten. And the high should be in the upper 40s. No, that's not warm, but it's not as cold as yesterday. Uh, Tomorrow, we'll start the day below freezing with the 20s likely. Uh, The day should be mostly sunny with a high at or just over 50. All right, weekend fans. Here's a look at Saturday. It's a pretty good good wave northwest of the state, and that might squeeze out a few flurries over uh, west Tennessee, northeast Arkansas, southeast Missouri. And that feature will kind of ease in here Saturday night. And again, it might squeeze out a sprinkle or a snowflake or an ice pellet somewhere. But like the deal last night here, it's just insignificant. And uh, the high Saturday should be in the mid-50s at seasonal levels. And Sunday, that feature is really on by, and that looks dry. And again, uh, the high should be in the low to mid-50s, which is exactly where we should be for this time of the year. The uh, really unsettled weather continues down in the Gulf. Uh, We'll go to Monday of next week, and that's going to be a dry day. We'll start the day probably in the 20s, the high around 50. All right. Now, beyond this, we get into all kind of model madness. This is Tuesday of next week. Now, the GFS all of a sudden is much faster with a very deep trough. And down below that, the uh, surface low is 1,005 millibars over uh, around Tulsa with rain breaking out. Uh, And, of course, You know, this would suggest some thunder Uh, remains to be seen if the instability values can rise sufficiently for severe weather, which is something to watch. This is Tuesday night at midnight, the surface load near Chicago with a band of showers and storms passing through. And then Wednesday of next week, the rain is gone and we turn colder. (laughs) Again, we should mention this is much faster than other runs. And I'll show you the European here in just a minute. And there's a Thursday a week from today that would be cool and dry. All right, now the European solution. This is Wednesday of next week. Now keep in mind, the GFS has the rain east of here on Wednesday, and the Europeans got that big batch of rain west of here. 
on Wednesday. And then Thursday, the showers and storms are passing through. Uh, Probably no severe weather with that, just some rain, maybe some thunder. So is it going to rain, you know, Tuesday and Tuesday night, or is it going to rain Thursday of next week? We're we're talking a 48-hour difference in those models. And uh, you probably want to side with the European in this case in that the uh, GFS has shown this in recent runs. But we'll monitor that for signs of heavy rain or, you know, strong storms. I'd say the severe weather threat one way or the other is fairly marginal. All right, let's go out there on the uh, 12th of January. That's cold looking. Look at the trough coming through. And uh, this is, you know, that following weekend. This is Saturday the uh, 12th. And it's got the 540 line all the way down to Mobile. So that's one shot of cold air. Then a few days later, look at this. On the 15th, a big rain event. I mean, that's uh, it looks like a two-inch rain force, if that's right. And then on the 16th, another very cold look with the trough over the east. And that's uh, the second cold shot. So the GFS is suggesting uh, very cold air coming in here around the 12th and around the 16th. There's a look at the actual temperatures, and that would... I could drive us down in there in the 10 to 15 degree range if this is right. And I do think uh, cold shots are inevitable in this kind of pattern, but uh, exactly how cold and when, it's just uh, still up for debate at this point. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News if you can at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at BigBrainsMedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.